Hello, my name is Peter Koch. This talk will tell you a little bit about the Open Bioinformatics Foundation, or OBF for short. The heart of the OBF is a community. We're a membership-based organization dedicated to promoting open source and open science in biology. Please consider joining us. OSC was started in the year 2000, and the year after, bio projects began. The OBF was incorporated to provide asset management for those nascent projects. A few years later, we had bylaws and formal membership. In 2012, we became an associate project of software in the public interest. Using a fiscal sponsor was to simplify maintaining non-profit status. At the start of the year, we had eight board members, we're currently down to seven, as Yo Yehudi's term expired. We're looking to recruit new board members and hope to hold elections shortly. What does the OBF do? The OBF board doesn't micromanage the member projects. They are self-governing. We have a formal policy for removing projects through inactivity or otherwise. And likewise, we have a mechanism for new projects to join us. Volunteer time is a precious resource, so we're trying to minimize hands-on systems administration. Renewing domain names, security certificates, and paying for hosting are our main ongoing expenses, and we pay these directly through the SPI where possible. The OBF runs a newsletter, which to date has been edited by a board member. We welcome user submissions via GitHub. Our main annual activity is this conference BOSC and the associated COFEST. BOSC has been running annually since the year 2000, in most cases as part of the ISMB meeting like this year. However, twice now we've partnered with the Galaxy community in order to reach a slightly different audience. Being a smaller meeting last year was actually advantageous in giving us flexibility in adapting to the COVID situation. This BOSC will be an interesting comparison, again being entirely online. Looking to the future, I don't believe we will go back to the old style of conferences. However, our community with openness and sharing at its heart is in an excellent position to take advantage of the online opportunities. Moving on to our CodeFest, or as we call it now, CoFest, to reflect that it is more than just coding, but collaboration in general. This started as an in-person event after the BOSC annual meetings, for the second year in a row, we're attempting to do this online. Sign-up numbers are down on last year, but I would acknowledge that this kind of event is much harder to take part in virtually than in person. The OBF participates in the Google Summer of Code program, or GSOC for short. We've been doing this for over 10 years, although not every year have we been accepted into the program. Nowadays, the OBF Google Summer of Code program is run as an umbrella for open source bioinformatics in general and not restricted just to our member projects. Google is running a shorter GSOC this summer, but again, we've been lucky to have eight students accepted. Uh, thank you to the mentors and the administrators for making this possible. The OBF has been working on a code of conduct for some time now. We have a written proposal to cover both online and in-person events. This would provide a central point of reporting and handling for all our member projects and activities. Member projects have responded positively and we're currently putting this to our membership to vote on. Next, I'd like to tell you about our Travel Fellowship, lately renamed to the Event Fellowship. This scheme was set up to try and increase the diversity of participants at meetings like BOSC. We've made over 30 awards, and you can see what the people have been using this money for by reading the blog posts that they've written for us. The diversity of meetings alone is quite impressive. The scheme works on a reimbursement basis, up to a pre-agreed cap, usually $1,000. We explicitly allow you to claim childcare. We made an initial budget commitment of 5000 per year until now, but we're underspent, so we're going to keep doing this for the time being. Having summarized what the OBF has been doing, let's look to the future and ask what the OBF should be doing. We have another proposal being put to our membership, 
creating a community support sponsorship scheme to help grassroots bioinformatics activities around the world. Structuring this as an event sponsorship ought to be much simpler for all parties involved. It means they get their money up front and we don't have to deal with receipts. It is, however, quite a departure from our current individual-based fellowships. So not everyone will agree that this is an appropriate activity for the OBF to be doing. The OBF, including the board, are mainly limited by volunteer time. One question we've asked ourselves is should we do more direct advocacy for open source and open science? What else should we be doing? Can you help? Time to wrap up with the final slides. There is a vast number of people that I should be thanking here. And rather than reading out the text, I'm going to highlight two names, our chair and co-chair this year at BOSC, Nomi and Carsten. Thank you to everybody who's made this meeting and the OBF's annual activities possible. Here are some contact details. Thank you for listening.